Yes. Oh, yes, I am loving what I'm seeing here. I'm loving this. I am loving this multi culty time. It's truly great, truly great. You guys, okay, I've got, I've got some news, okay? Big news, I need you guys to hear me now. I'm engaged. I'm engaged! Yes. Yes! Yes! I am off the streets! Yes. I'm too grateful, okay? Every time I got a microphone in a moment, I like to thank the Academy, okay? First off, okay guys, um, I wanna thank every gay man who told me I was a fierce bitch when I did not feel like one, you know? Yes, uh, secondly, secondly, I wanna thank every bartender who gave my drunk ass a free shot when I didn't need it, okay? Yes, okay, that's, you kept me looking. You kept me looking for Mr. Right Now, you know what I mean? It's really a numbers game, honestly, to get to this place. And last but not least, okay, I wanna thank every gal pal, every soul sister who stayed up with me until two in the morning, helping me decode such elaborate text messages <laughs> as you up, question mark. <laughs> oh, God, God, you up, question mark. What does it mean? You know, am I going to him? Is he coming to me? Are we in love? God, you up, question mark. No, I'm not, you know? I was never up, okay? Y'all, I am so glad, okay? I got myself a Jew boo, that's a Jewish boo. I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm living the dream. I'm going to be a Jewish wife, you know? And I am gonna take his last name, okay? And that's not because I'm traditional and I'm like, I want you to know I belong to him. No, 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 no. I'm taking his last name because when I do, I will be Naomi Beckerman. That is the Jewiest. I'm like loving it. I'm living for the first 10 seconds of meeting someone, you know, and then being like, you're Mrs. Beckerman? And I'm like, shalom. <laughs> I'm owning it. I am owning it. I'm like, yes, I'm Mrs. Beckerman, and yes, I made that kugel. You know? <laughs> I'm gonna do it. And Jubu, though, he was like, he was like, Naomi, don't take my last name for a bit. <laughs> and I was like, um, you knew what this was, okay? <laughs> That's me. It's crazy, so you know, I did all that dating, I found a man, I love him deeply, but no one told me that's when the real work starts. That's when it really gets hard once you got the person and you got to know each other and accept each other. When we first moved in together though, you know, I was nervous, but I wasn't nervous about the normal things. You know, usually you move in with a guy and you're like, oh no, what if he's too messy? Or like, what if he, we make each other crazy? Or like, what if he sees me on day two of my period and realizes I'm a monster, you know? <laughs> Those are the normal worries, but that was not my concern, okay? When we moved in together, I had one worry and one worry only, okay? And it was, how am I gonna suck in my stomach 24 seven? <laughs> how am I gonna do it? Yes, the ones who applaud, no. <laughs> Y'all live it, you know? It's true, cause like, you know, when you're just getting together on the weekends, it's easy, you know? You, you, you hold it taut, okay? Then you lay down in the boudoir, all right? You turn the lights low, you do what lovers do, okay? Then afterwards when you wanna get up and go to the bathroom so you don't get a UTI, you know? You get it, you know? You, you wanna hold it taut again, okay? So now what you've done there is you've bookended it, all right? And now he don't know, he don't know! That's how you gotta trip, yeah, y'all know. You got to bookend it. You got to, you know? But then once you're living together and you're around each other every day, you can't bookend it. That's not enough, you know? I didn't know what I was gonna do. So the best I could come up with was, like the first six months we lived together, I was just like a pregnant actress in a sitcom, you know? Do you know how they used to do, just like stand behind couches to deliver all my monologues, <laughs> you know? 
like holding large empty boxes for no reason. <laughs> lot of statement purses, a lot of statement purses, you know? He was like, Naomi, it is summer. Why are you wearing a fleece robe? <laughs> it's like, no reason, as like sweat drips down my face. <laughs> That's like all I knew to do, you know? It's crazy, but he knows, he knows I gotta eat my feelings. He accepts me as I am. <laughs> so it's crazy to me that like this thing happened recently. I'm about to tell you about it. Okay, we're about to go on a journey, okay? Because <laughs> it's gonna be a roller coaster. I need y'all to stay with me, okay? So I told you I like to eat my feelings, okay? I live in New York City, a truly lawless place, okay? <laughs> A city that will break you, you know what I mean? It's like I'm on the subway and a hobo tells me I'm a failure, you know? <laughs> it's like that rough. So it's like I had one of those rough days and all I wanted when I came home, y'all, was Nutella <laughs> on a potato roll, okay? Okay? Yes, it is simple, it is elegant. All right, and I'm gonna tell you the key to success, okay? You gotta put the potato roll in the toaster oven, all right? Because then you get the Nutella and it's all melty on top, you know what I mean? And then you're like, we're not gonna kill ourselves tonight, you know? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's true, it's what you do. You sing it because you're joyful, you know? Just the prospect of the Nutella lifts you up. Lifts you up, okay? So that's all I wanted. I was like planning for it on the way home, okay? So I get in the house, I go right for the kitchen, all right? Put the potato roll in the toaster oven. I know we got the Nutella, it's my house, okay? I go to the cupboard, grab the Nutella, open up the jar of Nutella. It was empty! Y'all. Do, do you know what it means that the jar was empty? Okay, I'm gonna tell you what it means. It means the man I have chosen <laughs> to spend my life with thought it was acceptable to put an empty jar of Nutella back in the cup, a decoy Nutella. <laughs> a decoy Nutella in my house. Y'all, I became like Angela Bassett in every movie ever. <laughs> I did. I did. I was just like tricep and anger.